Um, hello, everyone. Okay. Um, so I was I was doing some digging around, and I actually found a, f uh, like a fully working Dr. Java, like like the way I ex I wanted, like the way I expect, like the ones I, w I was using before, or the one I was using before. So um, yesterday I posted a video about installing Dr. Java, and I mentioned that I ran through some problems. So I ended I ended up in installing uh, finding one made by Rice University. Actually, when you run it, you see that it's written as the name of the program, um, rice.edu dot something, right? But um, I was able to find a working version, and so and and now I can I, I can walk you through a, a little bit. You know, it's a bit more help to help you get Dr. Java in, in case you decide to stick with Dr. Java. So I, as you can see, I have it here, and it's running fine. Um, so let, let me just wait for it to open. And you can see that now it says Dr. Java. I mean, if you have one that says rice.edu Dr. Java, that's that's fine. Um, as long as it's working, you know. But I, I was actually I I actually had some problems with it. But the one that I had when I when I when I was scro uh, scrolling, I had some problems. So I don't want to um, go into the problems. But this is a working version from the from the site itself. And let me just point you point you to it. So first of all, I'll go ahead and I'll uninstall mine. So it's in my applications folder. So I just go ahead and uninstall it here just by just deleting it, and this should disappear soon. Should okay. So now I don't have Doctor Java, right? So if you wanted to install it, remember yesterday I point, pointed you to the website. So let's go there, and um, you can just type in install Doctor Java here, and this is their website. Uh, I, I, I'll put it in the description of this video too. I, I had it in yesterday's one. So if you try to, so, so basically this is the current stable release. So this is the one I was having issues with. The Windows version, it should be straightforward. Ja the Java version, is also, is, is, it, um, it also should be straightforward. If you go to the how to run it, it tells you how to run the, ja the Java version. But for Windows, it should be straightforward. And for Mac, this current stable release is, is what I was I, what I was having problems with. So I had I was running macOS Sierra, but I I, I thought it, it was something with macOS Sierra. So I had to downgrade to OS El Capitan. If you can, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it here. I had to downgrade to OS El Capitan to to, to try to, to uh, get this working. So this was giving me problems. Well, there there is a general problem with Dr. Java. Okay, when you install any Dr. Java, right? Especially, actually, for Mac, not not even especially for Mac. For Mac itself, once you install it, it'll tell you in, in order to run Dr. Java, you you need a Java Java six um, SE, okay, or standard edition, okay, Java six SE. So so th that window is going to have two buttons: learn more, and then okay. If you if you click learn more, it it's going to open up a web page pointing you to download that particular Java six. SE that it needs. So when you install, when you download and install that Java 6 SE, and you rerun Dr. Java, it should be fine. So that's just a general problem that even Dr. Java I think mentions, or even other other resources mention. So that's fine. If you're running through that problem, just install that Java 6 SE because that's the Java that works with Mac, I think, um, and you'll be fine. But if so, based on what I was talking about, you know, you're trying to if you if you're having any any other issue. Um, especially with the current stable stable release, just go to download. When, once you go to this page, you go to download, and then you can see this is the same current stable release, but down below it you can see old stable release. And I had it working on my computer with the old stable release, or at least one or one of the old ones. Um, but I think it's it's this because you know that was yeah I think it's this one. Um, so what I did was I, I actually uninstalled my Java just for the, just for this series. I uninstalled it so I can reinstall it and you know, and show you how to you know install it basically basically by walking you through it. But I was going through problems with this one. I had to it was telling me to that Dr. Java is damaged. I have to I have to put it in my trash folder. Um, like I said, th that general problem of you installing Dr. Java, sorry, of you installing the Java SE, that's fine. It's going to point you to that website to actually download it. Once once that window pops up telling you you need the Java SE 6, it's you that window is going to have two buttons, learn more and then hit and then okay. If you hit on learn more, it's going to open that website telling you to install Dr. Java. I mean sorry. <laughs> telling you to install Java S SE 6. 
but apart from that any other problem you know you know that it is bad I, like i had so many problems and you know you cannot you know there are issues with also gatekeeper and all that stuff um gatekeeper is where let me just open system preferences to show you really, really quickly so sometimes everything may be working correctly but if you go to your system preferences and you, and you go to your security and privacy there is this thing called um, get gatekeeper currently i have mine uh, set on anywhere right so let's see so by default when you have your mac one second by default when you have a mac it's either it's here it's on the mac app store okay either so basically it's only allowing for your computer it's only allowing you to um download softwares from the mac app store you can choose this option and the computer and then your computer will allow you to download and install softwares from the mac app store and identify developers i had it at, at, at anywhere you know, because i had like i said uh, like, like i said in my previous video i had i have control of the, the softwares i install on my pc so i don't i don't really worry about it um so i'll keep it here for now i'll keep it on mac app store and identify developers for now just in case uh, we are installing a new one and we have a, a problem i'll show you how to um to um to create an exception for one particular software so I know that so, so the the previous Java, Java that I just showed you was the old stable release and and that worked without any errors without any issues. So if you are having problems with the current stable release, go just click on the download link and then go to your old stable release, and then click on the, um, download macOS um, app, uh, 10 app, and then it's going to redirect you to this page, and then download it. um it should it should load any moment okay so i'm going to open with you can open with you know just just you know so so that you, so that you don't really install um, so you don't really save a copy on on your computer or you can save the file well when you, when you actually open with it you know it's, it's still going to save the file on your computer so it's fine you can either open with or save the file and then and then later on run it but i'm going to open with the with the archive, archive utility and I, I actually had one in my downloads folder so it's going to install another one Okay, so this 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 was the first one that I just I, I I had. I'm going to delete it. Forget about everything else. So this is what I just installed. Um, it, it's going to look like like this. It's saying one because I had I had two previously. So it's it, it's just going to read. It's going to read like the, without the one. It's going to read, yours is going to read without without this hyphen one here. So w w once you actually, it's going to uh, if you open with the archive utility, so it's, it's going to basically um, on on archive it or basically ex extract what's in this um, compressed file, okay? And th and this is what's going to come out of it. That's the application itself. So in my gatekeeper, remember I had it set to Mac App Store and uh, identify developer. So when I try to double click this, let's see what happens. It's going to tell me. Um, Dr. Java is, da is damaged and can't be opened. Uh, you should move it to trash, right? Just because I this, I guess, hasn't been identified by uh, by Apple as, um, you know, as um, it, maybe it's it's not signed. You know, there there are a list of softwares that Apple allows on the computer, right? So m maybe it's not signed. Maybe Apple do doesn't. Although it's, it's although it's a good um, project, maybe Apple doesn't recognize this as, um, I don't know, as an official, I don't know, they don't really recognize it. So if you go to get gatekeeper, you can basically turn that off. If you go to gatekeeper, you can you can basically go to security and privacy and then and then click on anywhere, meaning the computer should allow you to download software from anywhere, right? It shouldn't now, it shouldn't now tell you that it's damaged and, um, you know, you should put it in the trash. And actually, that's actually an, an, an even wrong message. It, you know, it's, it's not damaged. It's just you can say something else. I don't know why they, they do that, but it's it's really a misleading message. Um, so I'm going to I, I didn't I didn't change the setting, right? I, I didn't I didn't change it to anywhere for now. I just want to try out something. There's a way to actually create an exception for one one particular software. So I'm going to hit on I'm going to before clicking, I'm going to hold control just to try this. I'm going to hold control and click on it. And then click open. Okay, it still says the same thing. So it, it seems not to be working. So I guess the only way you can actually uh, run it is when you 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 change it, right? In in previous programs, okay, if you hit control, click, and then if you if you hold control, click, and you click on open, it should tell it it should create an exception. It should tell you that okay, this program is not really identified by Apple as a you know as a 
you know like it's not really identified by apple so it, it's going to ask you if you're sure to open it or, you, or you're sure you want to open it then you, then you click on um, open it, it's going to ask you that only once and once you open the program for the first time it, it's, it's it's basically created an exception for this program on the computer to just always allow it so you won't see any, uh, that message again when you try to run it in the future it's going to ask you are you sure you want to open this program it's not really ad um, identified as a you know it's not really identified once you say okay open that's it apple uh, the, the computer is going to it's going to register it as a good program and it's always going to run it's not going to it's, go it's not going to give you an error or it's not going to yeah give you any error message again but it's, it's not worth it seems not to be working with this one i don't know you know what what's up with you know apple and you know I, I guess it's for security purposes but you know maybe they should try to make it a bit more flexible all right so what i'm going to do now since i i'm running osl capitan I'm going to go to system system preferences, security and privacy, and then change this back to anywhere. Change this back to anywhere, and it's telling me that um it makes it less secure. I'm, I, since I have control of the softwares I install, I'm going to hit allow from anywhere, and I close this. Okay, and then now I since I've I've told it to allow it, so when I double click this. It's telling me Dr. Java is an, is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? So I'm going to click on open. And, and that should basically work. Right. Um, that, that should basically work. By hitting control, control click, it should work, but I don't know why it still it still doesn't work. But see, we can see that Dr. Java has opened and it says Dr. Java up here. In macOS Sierra, you know, you, you, you don't even see this option. In, in macOS Sierra, you don't even see this option now now there is a there's a command that you, you know you can type in terminal to, to try to you know make this reappear um, it, it, it kind of works it kind of doesn't work it, I don't want to you know get into that I had so many pro um, so many problems but at least I'm, I'm happy because I just I was able to do this I was able to um, um, get this working and and this is actually um, what one I think the software the, the one I was actually running before I uh, before I uninstall it, you know, with the intention of showing you how to install it, and it didn't work. Um, so I, I think I'm talking too much. Um, so if you're running OSL Capitan or even macOS here, and for some reason you're able to make this reappear by typing in the code uh, that people are typing all, all, all over the uh, internet, I think it's sudo something. If you're able to make this up here, up here, just hit, just make sure you, you click on anywhere. And I don't, I'm not sure if, for example, if I turn this back back to Mac App Store and identify developers I'm not sure if it's going to prompt that message again when I so let's just go ahead and close this now let's let's see if it, it um, raised that message again so I don't have it running so let's see okay so let's see what it says okay so it looks like as soon as you run it for the first time you're fine it, it creates an exception for it and says okay since you opened it for the first time you've made me aware you've made the computer aware that um that this is safe so even though my setting is turned back to my app store and, and, and identified developers it's still working so that so that's good so i think you only, you're only going to see that message once yeah so if you're able to if you're running osl capitan yeah, do do what I just did. If you're running macOS here and you know you tr just try control clicking, tr try to see if you can make that anywhere option in the system preferences that any anywhere option reappear, and you know click it. You know to do that. I was running macOS here. I ha I had to downgrade to um, OSL Capitan um, to make it work. But I'm glad it's working now. So you know if there's any info you can lear um, learn from this to try to get your Dr. Java working, then please, please do it. If not, also comments down below and I'll do everything to, resp respond, to respond to them. Um, um, yeah. Um, but apart from that, you can also use your um, ID of choice, like, like I said in the previous program. And then now now, now we're, we're ready to actually start. I'm, I'm very happy because, you know, I'm really happy because now I have it working without any problems. Yes, okay, so we'll start in the next video. All right, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. Comments down below if you have questions, and I'll see you next time in the next video, learning, learning Java. All right, take care. Bye-bye.